about my tips for people who want to try anal sex. I don't have any. Communicate with your partner. I think this is the most important thing. You need to, for example, if you have anal sex with your girlfriend, you need to you need to communicate with her and you need to make sure that she is comfortable. Anal sex is something that you start enjoying after you have tried it a couple of times, I would say, because it's a very weird feeling that you haven't like feel before. So just take your time, enjoy, explore yourself with a partner, whatever you want, but just like take it easy and don't force yourself to like everything from the very first moment because usually it's not gonna be like that. Just like uh, enjoy whatever you are feeling and if you want to try again, do it and then like things will stretch and you could have like awesome anal sex putting fists in your butt. A good way to like prepare is like when you're jerking off like put something in your butt too, so you like associate like anal like stimulation with pleasure. A butthole is not the same as a vagina. The butthole is a very stretchy sphincter. There's a reason why it looks different, because it's not the same. If you have to, have a little talk with your butthole before you, you go there and you know, tell it, okay, this is gonna be great. You know, make sure that conversation, lots of self-love, lots of, okay, this is gonna feel so good. Stretch out your butt a few days before. What I do is I get butt plugs, different size, like, uh, training kits. So I put in, like, the second biggest for, like, two or three days, and then the biggest one for, like, the day before and the day of to make sure my butthole can stretch and take a nice big cock without complaining in the middle of the scene. Usually before I try to stick a gigantic object up my butt, I put a butt plug in there like a few hours beforehand and just leave it in and kind of just relax on it. Like, oh, that's a nice little butt plug. Don't just put the dick right in. Like warm it up, play with it, um, use butt plugs. If I warm up right before I have anal sex with a butt plug that I feel is about three quarters of the girth of the guy I'm about to fuck, that really makes the whole experience enjoyable because for my body, it's like the first two minutes that can be intense, but if I take a minute and warm up with that butt plug, then there's, there isn't that moment of, oh, you know, this is uncomfortable, it's just all the pleasurable part. Take a moment and warm up with a butt plug before, you know, in the bathroom just for two minutes before you go out and, and enjoy your, your anal sex time. Definitely have a very fiber-rich diet, so then it makes it really easy for you to like clean out fiber. Clean your ass first. Then I clean my butt out like once or twice that night and then in the morning I do another clean out and then I clean like two more times before. There's an enema. It's like this little thing and it's kind of like a water bottle with like a long nozzle on it and you can unscrew it. So you unscrew it and you open it. I empty out the enema, um, the saline solution or whatever is in that crap. And then I put in warm water because you don't want to freeze your butthole, but you don't want to burn your butthole. So I just put warm water. Um, you put it back on, you take the little top off, you put it up your butt and you kind of like pull the water in your ass. Like you make your ass muscles pull in the water as you're pushing it. And then just poop it out poop the water out and then you look at the water and then you're like okay is it clear and if it's clear you're good to go if there there are a little couple stragglers then I mean you just keep going until it's clear a lot of the times when I'm at home I don't do an enema before like the butt sex because I mean I'm at home if a little shit comes out like oh oh big deal like fuck if you're going on camera definitely or if you have like um, a white couch or something that you're not trying to get any poop on, um, definitely clean out. Do enemas and then you can't eat after your enema and you have to do it the night before. Don't eat too much a couple of hours before. I don't eat like probably like since the night before, probably like five, like six or seven I stopped eating. Maybe like lube or spit or what? Um, tears. Lube's probably a good idea. You don't need it all the time but it's usually, like, if you're starting out, yeah. Lube up. I like spit, because I make a lot of spit. Lots and lots and lots and lots of lube. And use as much lube as you want to use. Make sure that, that it's lubed up nicely. You have to be turned on. And you have to be relaxed and turned on by it, or it's not gonna happen. Relax, 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 relax. You have to relax. Don't stress out. Take a deep breath and relax. It's like all, like, mental relaxation first, because when you relax mentally, then all the other muscles in your body will relax. So 
don't like worry about it or try to tense up because if you anticipate that it's gonna hurt, then it's gonna fucking hurt. Breathe, you know, like take it just like, take a deep breath, you know, and like inhale and like exhale and just relax. You have to relax. You can put a lot in there as long as you relax. If you're not relaxed, then you're not gonna get shit up there. Well, I mean, you're not gonna get any object or penis or anything or hand up there. Um, but if you relax, you can comfortably fit a foot up there if you would like. If you tense up, it's gonna hurt. If you tense up or if you focus on the fact that you're gonna do anal, it's gonna hurt and you're gonna feel the pain. Um, it's gonna hurt a little bit just going in the head, but once it massages and the more your butthole gets wet, the better it feels and the less pain you feel. If you put things up your butt incorrectly without relaxing and using either lots of lube or lots of spit, it will end up ripped. So just make sure you're relaxed. Go slow. In a vagina, it's kind of like, uh, it's easier, you know, you can, you can go in and you, once it's in and once it's sliding, you can hammer it with a butthole, not so much. And I don't know, you just have to be like really passionate about it. Like, don't just like ram it in there. Like, give the booty some love. Try to make her feel good and then that will make like you feel good. Be with somebody that is nice about it and will go slow at first and will ease into it because when they just shove it in it, is not an enjoyable experience. Maybe let them massage your buttocks or something in your back. If you're like me and like your pussy getting played with while you're having sex, then play with your pussy. You need to start slow, use, use enough loop, you know, and then give it some time that it relaxes and opens up. And then uh, once, it, once it's built up and once it's there and once the partner feels comfortable, then you can hammer it. But uh, it needs more time to warm it up. Very important. I think the number one tip is communication and consent. After that, then you can worry about everything else. But as long as you communicate about it and you're consenting to it, then you can do further research and have a fun, comfortable time stretching out your butthole. And take your time and enjoy that shit. 